Hello and welcome to year two of our FCS Dynasty. Today we are having week one and it's going to be amazing. I am so excited for it. I know everybody else has been waiting for it in the Discord or just on YouTube if you're not in the Discord. Uh, we're going to take a look at the preseason polls, all of the Sports Illustrated articles, and then we're going to get right into our first matchup, which has the San Diego Toreros taking on the 25th ranked San Diego State Aztec. And it's going to be a great game. I'm really excited for it. Here's the preseason top 119 teams. And as you can see, we have a lot of our schools here in the top 25. And before we get into the game, uh, for the first week, uh, there's five games. And all of the games, the audio just wasn't working for some reason. I don't know why, except for one game, I think. So we'll be having music in four of the five games. So I do apologize for that. I think I figured it out and fixed the issue. So hopefully going forward, starting week two, we will have the in-game audio on all videos. There's our lowest ranked team, which is Southern Utah. They, of course, had the worst season last year at six and seven. And here's the overalls. Some pretty good overalls here around the country. UTEP, Tulane, Boise State, good offense. Both of those squads have great defense as well. Fresno State for the B-minus defense. We'll be seeing them in the game of the week this week as they take on the UC Davis Aggies. That'll be a great matchup. Jacksonville, of course, one of the top four uh, special teams units. Top four schools all have A overalls. Heisman hopeful. They've got Brandon Allen on the cover. A lot of people thought he should have won it. His team did beat Savannah State. They went on to win the national championship. But MJ Gator Jr., what a monster he was last year as well. The Heisman Trophy winner. Let's see if he can't repeat and hoist up two trophies at the end of the year. And shockingly, the top five candidates for the Heisman are all from our schools. MJ, Brandon Allen, Lamar Jackson, Mr. Highlight, of course, had a monster season. And Raul Lozano III, one of the more underrated players, in my opinion. A Marshall Falk type player, Alvin Kamara. Christian McCaffrey type player for all you youngins that don't know about Marshall Falk. And here's preseason All-Americans. we got quite a few on here. Lamar Jackson, MJ Gator Jr., Brandon Allen. So quarterback and halfback all taken by our players. We don't have any receivers here on the first team though, which is kind of surprising. Mr. Highlight and Reinhardt Wendowski were absolute studs last season. We do have some non-subscriber players here with Booker, tackle out of Cal Poly. Kenneth Harrington, of course, is in there. He's a subscriber player, as well as Dan DeBeers and Dan Williamson. Great North as well. So most of these players are from our 12 schools. And that's really getting me excited for this coming season to see what these players can do. See how much better they are after their freshman seasons. There's Zane Williams, Jamar Hicks. He's been elevated to a subscriber player this year. So we'll count him as one of mine, I guess. But I just felt he was too good to not keep track of his stats. Uh, so we're going to keep track of him this season going forward. Eric McGee apparently had eight interceptions last season for Northern Colorado. He was way under the radar. I had no idea he had that great of a season. And here he is, a first-team All-American. Unbelievable. Alan Davidson, of course, also first-team All-American. Darius Peters, Marcus Pedersen, both great safeties. And no kickers. We will not see a kicker. Uh, maybe this year as Jacksonville has a star-studded <laughs> special teams. And here's the second team. All our players right now. Owen Black, Raul Lozano the third, Daly Redding, Malik Higgins over Mr. Highlight. That is surprising to me, actually. Wow. And Reinhard Romandowski, number three receiver here on the second team. I cannot believe Malik Higgins is the number one receiver. That just blows my mind. Christian Hart, of course, had a 100-yard reception against Alabama A&M. He's on there, the big tight end. Chad Filler, White, another non-subscriber player, as well as Huffman and Horton. Sebastian Hernandez makes it out of Northern Colorado. Great center, big-time player. And here we finally get some non-subscriber team players. Uh, Tui Asasopo and McClellan. Divine Adams gets second team, and no Ruben Blueberry, folks. That is surprising. Baker, Cy Summers, one of my favorite players. Such a beast. And here's 
Chris Numa, of course, he had an amazing season at corner and on special teams. Trey Henry the third, Chris Major, our only player to go over 100 tackles in a season so far. And that is it for the preseason All-Americans here as we head into year number two. Can Montanez lead the Bulldogs to the 2006 ACC title? Is this the year? Well, last year was the year, so hopefully they have a great year as well. Um, Savannah State's going to be tough in that conference again, though. We're not going to take a look at the conference outlook. Um, as we go on in the season, we'll take a look at it. But here is the toughest places to play. Army at number one. So Air Force drops from one to number three. And we will not see any of our teams in here this season. Next year, I am really hoping to see at least a couple of our schools get in here. Uh, Dayton has a huge stadium. Jacksonville, their crowd is always crazy. Uh, but let's get into this game, guys. San Diego State on offense first, third down, and six. They'll go play action. Brown right side, Dylan Tong. Nice deflection. Uh, last season, he had 17 deflections. So there's number 18 of his career. Robbie Ballard gets a carry. Left side runs a man smooth over and picks up the first down. Robbie Ballard, huge running back, six foot, 243 pounds. Here's Bo Davis. The three-star recruiter, four-star recruiter, excuse me, at fullback. Second down and ten. Daryl Ballard. He threw 26 touchdowns last season and he had 30 interceptions. He gets sacked there. Offensive line needs to improve here for San Diego under first-year head coach Jack Brown. Looking for his first win. Third down and 18. Daryl Ballard throws it off his back foot. Connects with Kerr, the tight end, and he is a few yards shy of the first down. So San Diego punts it away. Aztecs back on offense. Trembley breaks a tackle, and he will get close to the marker here. And they do not give it to him. It's third down three now. Trembley gets it. Breaks a tackle. Taken down short of the first down. So San Diego's defense stepping up. They are led by DJ Payne. Boom Johnson. And here's Robbie Ballard in the open field. Tracked down from the 35-yard line. And the rest of the defense, Luke Moss, Rob Roy, Isaac Price, Demarcus Green, a four-star free safety as the four-star fullback here. Bo Davis gets a big run up the middle. And Dylan Tong rounds out the defense for San Diego. Ballard to throw over the middle. I don't know how that wasn't picked off. And Doug Lay with a nice catch and a first down. That'll be Doug Lay's 43rd catch of his career. And here is Daryl Ballard punching it in. Just his second career touchdown run. And he was untouched. In those situations, you expect Robbie Ballard to get the ball. He had 16 touchdowns on the ground last year, and here's a nice completion out to Alexander for the first down. San Diego State trying to get on the board. Third down and eight. Brown to throw it. Right side, he's got a man wide open. It's Trembley out of the backfield, and Luke Moss tracks him down at the 20-yard line. A great throw. Nice touch pass. And San Diego State moves the chains as we head into the second quarter of Play. Second down and three at the 14. Play action. Brown to the end zone and Kamlatu gets the touchdown. San Diego State ties things up here against San Diego. What a throw. Break right between the safeties. And Dylan Tong just late getting there to the ball. So San Diego State gets the ball back here. Terreros go three and out. Here's Trembley up the middle. And he's going to escape. Still going. Gets a block. And Trembley is going to take this all the way. What an unbelievable play by the running back. Oh, no. There's a flag on the play. Let's see what that is for. It could only be one thing. Let's check it out. Clipping. Oh, my goodness. So, an amazing run by Trembley is called back from a clipping call. First down at 23 now. Brown. To throw, right side, man, open, he's got Alexander, he's got the first down and more, tightrope act on the sideline, and Demarcus Green will track him down, the big four-star free safety, 6'3", 220-pound, 74 overall, freshman, and there's a nice deflection over to the left side, and that will set up a field goal here for the Aztecs, good stop by the Torero defense. Kick is up and good after 53-yard drive. Took less than a minute off the clock. Third down at four here for the Toreros. Ballard to throw over the middle. Doug Lay has it. And he's got the first down. Seven-yard pickup. His second catch of the day. Second down at 13. Ballard to throw once again. Rolling out left side. Tosses it up. And Kerr has it. The big tight end. Gets it up to the 33-yard line. His second reception today. And the freshman already making an impact here for San Diego. 
Third down and long. Ballard, pump fakes, rolls around to the right side, chucks it up, and Doug Lay has another one. He gets rocked inside the 10-yard line, but that will bring up first and goal from the nine. Ballard on the option, jukes the man out of his shoes, and he is in for a second touchdown run of the game. He only had one touchdown on his whole career coming into this game today. My goodness, 14-10, San Diego on top of the Aztecs. Here is the kickoff after the touchdown. Gaither, right side, fumbles the football, and it's recovered. Riley Porter, the freshman wide receiver, gets his first career fumble recovery out there on special teams. Daryl Ballard going to try to throw it here, try to get some more points before the half, and he completes the pass out to Bryant. What a throw on the run, right on the sideline. Second down and one. Ballard to throw again. Pressure, rolls out right side, takes a shot. He's picked off, though, at the one-yard line. Looked like that pass might have got away from him just a little bit. And San Diego State in a rough spot, though, here at the one, almost in the end zone. And Trembley is going to be dropped for the safety and who got him? That looked like Boom Johnson. And it is Boom Johnson with his first career safety, making a huge impact. 89 overall defense event, 6'4, 255 pounds. Last season, he had 14 tackles, 10 for loss, and 5 sacks. Not a huge season for him, but here's another pick from Ballard. And he might take this all the way. It's Booker tracked down finally inside the 25 yard line with three ticks left on the clock here in the first half. So probably not a good decision to throw it there. Probably should have just ran the football, run the clock out. Instead, San Diego State kicks a field goal up and through to make it 16 to 13 as we head into halftime. Guerreros on top of the 25th ranked Aztecs. First down to 10, Xavier Wilson is in the game at quarterback. Ballard has been injured. Who knows if he will return? We'll see shortly, but Wilson with a nice run Picks up the first down. Nice run by the third, uh, the three-star quarterback. 74 overall play. And Wilson's going to stay in there. Go on the option and gets close to the marker yet again. Ten first downs today for San Diego. Wilson going to try to test his arm. Now pressured. He is sacked. Oh, my goodness. Pressured immediately. Six hurries today. Three sacks. Two picks for the San Diego State defense. And that was just immediate pressure. I don't care how fast Wilson is. There's no way he's getting out of that. Third down and 18. Wilson sacked again. He's going to lose five more yards. And the running back, <laughs> Robbie Ballard, just does not even try to block him at all. Aztecs back on offense. Brown, deep shot right side. And he connects with Kemuatu again. Dylan Tong was there helping Isaac Price, but just couldn't get that ball away. Third down and four. Brown. Taking a shot, deflected away at the last second by Dylan Tong, but there's a flag on the play. And let's see if it's on the defense. Oh, they're going to call him for pass interference on Dylan Tong. My goodness, that looked like good coverage to me. But instead, it's going to be first down. Now third and five here at the 11. Brown on the option. He is dragged down by a non-subscriber linebacker. Setting up another field goal attempt here. 27-yarder. Kick is up and good. And that is going to tie the ball game up at 16 all. We have just under two minutes remaining here in the third quarter. Third down and nine. Xavier Wilson is still in at quarterback. Nice connection out here with Demetrius George over the middle. San Diego at 200 yards of offense now. And here's Bo Davis. And he gets another first down. This fullback has made a great impact here today. Three carries, 32 yards. My goodness. Second down and 10. Robbie Ballard, right side in the open field, gets the first down and out of bounds, picking up 12 yards. 5.5 yard average today. That is going to end the third quarter. Get your fours up, folks. We got a fantastic game here in San Diego, California. What a throw to Riley Porter inside the 10 yard line as Daryl Ballard returns to the ball game. He was out for just one quarter. He must have been injured on the tackle on the interception before the first half ended. First and goal from the eight. Play action. Ballard right side wide open is Riley Porter. He's got himself his first career touchdown. Riley Porter, 6'3", 180-pound receiver. Just a 68 overall, but definitely making an impact today. He has a fumble recovery on special teams. A couple nice catches and his first career touchdown. He was in there playing some tight end on that play. And what a play. My goodness. That takes a 23-16 lead for San Diego here in the fourth quarter. 
Round play action over the middle. He's picked off. Dylan Tong has it. He breaks the tackle. He's going to go up the left sideline. He's got the speed inside the 20. 10. Chase down. No, he isn't. That's a touchdown. Pick six for Dylan Tong. My goodness, that's his first career touchdown and his sixth career interception. Breaking the tackle after the catch and just outrunning everybody. I thought for sure Trembley was going to catch him, but he must have got caught up on one of his teammates. 30 to 16 now. And Trembley gets a nice run up the middle, picks up the first down, running through the arm tackle of Dylan Tong. They're down to 10. Brown, right side, intercepted again. Dylan Tong off the deflection. Oh my goodness. Seven career picks now. And that was Isaac Price. No, it was not Isaac Price. That is a non subscriber cornerback with a deflection right into the hands of his waiting strong safety. Let's take another look here. Oh my goodness. What a great play by the secondary. Third down and eight here for San Diego as they look to take a three-score lead. And this pass is out right side. Riley Porter has another one. His third catch today. Three consecutive completions for Ballard since he returned from injury. Here's Robbie up the middle and taken down just shy of the marker. He's got 78 yards today on 14 carries. Third down and one. Xavier Wilson back in the game. He's going to get the first down using his legs. Uh, but he fumbles the football. It's recovered by Demetrius George, the wide receiver. Dylan Tong clear the game for San Diego. Five tackles, one for loss, two picks, and a pick six. Third and four. Ballard pressured. He's just going to take the sack to avoid another interception. That'll bring up fourth and 11 as San Diego will probably trot on the field goal unit here. 42-yard attempt. And the kick is up, and he got it right down the middle. And it's going to make it 33-16, a 17-point ball game with 23 seconds left. Play action from Brown over the middle. Should have been picked off, but Kim Watu is going to break free and get in for the touchdown. Oh, my goodness. Double coverage right between the safeties. Oh, they both played the ball but couldn't get it. Kem Watu, great awareness, realizing there's no defenders left. Just sprints for the score. They need a miracle here. <laughs> but San Diego will recover the onside kick. And San Diego's going to walk out of here with a victory, folks. Huge win. And some would call that an upset. But let's go ahead and take a look at the Discord pick'em and see which one of you guys were correct in picking the San Diego Toreros. We've got Jay Balmer, MJ Gator Jr., Chris Numa, Jarmel Lewis, Willie Madden, head coach Jack Brown, of course, picked his own team. Uh, Four-star commander, who is not a player in this league, Everett Garrison, Aiden Davis, uh, Ball Hawk, uh, Zoomer Speed, Tyler Chandler, head coach Marvin Joseph of the Jacksonville Dolphins, Xavier Wilson, Jack Parker, Seth Maddox, Joseph Lozano, Emmanuel Wise, Alexander Connor, Jacob Coleman, Kelvin Jasper Jr., Bryson Shields, Nick Hall, and Jay Washington. Congratulations, you guys were all correct in the Discord Pick'em, picking the San Diego Toreros for the upset win over the 25th ranked San Diego State Aztecs, the Crosstown Rivals. And this was a great game, a lot of exciting plays. Um, I'm really looking forward to the rest of the season here for San Diego after this huge win. Bobby Ballard, of course, good game for him. 5.4 yard average today. Came into the game averaging 6.3 for his career. Just an absolute monster. Three broken tackles for him today. But Daryl Ballard, two rushing touchdowns. Comes into the game with only one for his career. Ends up coming out of this one with two more. Riley Porter, first career touchdown reception. Uh, congratulations to you, young man. Three catches, 46 yards today. And he made an immediate impact here for San Diego in his first ever game. Special teams and on offense. Well, Riley Porter, keep an eye on that name. Um, I'm expecting some more big things from him maybe next week. One drop today for the freshman tight end. A lot of sacks allowed. Brick wall allowed two sacks today at left tackle. And that, that definitely needs to improve. Dylan Tong led the team in tackles with six. Rob Roy with five. Uh, Isaac Price had three. The cornerback. Demetrius George had a couple. Luke Moss with two. Luke Johnson with one. Marcus Green with one. 
four tackles for a loss for the defense. Defense played fantastic other than uh, a couple uh, big plays to the wide receivers where the secondary just went for the ball, tried to get away, get the ball away from the player, but they just, just missed it. Fourth fumble today for Isaac Price, recovered by Riley Porter. We had a safety, Boom Johnson, his first career safety, and a defensive touchdown. The defenses did everything today. Three punts, two inside the 20 for freshman punter James Castillo. And of course, the kicker made a field goal, so that was exciting. Trap Moody, good damn returns. Tong, Ballard, Webb, players of the game for San Diego. Kamwatu, Brown, and Walker, players of the game for the 25th ranked San Diego State Aztecs. Our next game will be 24th ranked uh, North Dakota State, traveling to take on the Air Force Falcons in the third toughest stadium in the country. I'll see you guys soon. Take it easy.